Uh, Joe, to Bob's point about Trump, just a minute ago, the lieutenant governor of Georgia, Republican, yeah. Jeff Duncan, said, quote, this is truly a pivot point for the Republican Party. Donald Trump is no doubt in the rearview mirror. That's from the Republican lieutenant governor of Georgia. Well, and you had um, Mark Thiessen of the Washington Post basically saying the same thing. Uh -huh. Talked about how disastrous last night he was, was for on Republicans. Fox. He said that. Yeah, he said how disastrous last night was for Republicans, and they need to, to move rethink everything forward. Now, everything. that may be a little wish casting on the part of the lieutenant governor. Donald Trump still has a stronghold on a lot of people in this country. Well, and, and I think this morning there are a lot of Republican consultants, our Democratic consultants, that are saying, yeah, please, please bring him back. Because he's got like a 9.74 ERA and he's got a 93 or a 73 mile an hour fastball that he puts right over the plate. Democrats, again, can't overstate this enough. Democrats just beat him every year. I mean, if he didn't want to overturn democracy, you could almost feel sorry for him, but you can't. No, can't. Because he loses every year. Oh, it's getting so but boring. You know, well, but, but there's still going to be there's still going to be a big challenge resting the Republican nomination. Right. Yes. I mean, he. Yes. You know, because if you think of, let, let's say ten people run and nine people cut up the maybe fifty percent not yeah. Trump. Yeah. Right. The other structural prob problem that Republicans have in the primaries once you get past three or four of these races, it's winner take all. Yeah. Right. This is how Trump beat Cruz uh, in in 2016. Because you get to a point where you're not having to get 50 plus 1 percent in these states. You can just hang on with a group of people, get your 33, 35 percent, and take home all those delegates. So yeah. I think there's going to be, there's a lot of interesting things to play out here in this Republican nomination. You know,